Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the most powerful 160cc motorcycle in India, the TVS Apache RTR 4V 160B6, and that is a long name, just like TVS. Special thanks to Shell R TVS for providing us this motorcycle for the review. If you are looking for a TVS product, you can go to their dealership because they'll provide you the best offers in Pune. And don't worry because they're keeping your safety in mind and following all the guidelines issued by the government. If you are new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you are never missing any update from us. And you can also go ahead and check out our Instagram page and in fact, ask your queries over there. We'll respond to you as soon as possible. The handle will be right over here. Now let's begin with the review of RTR 4V 160PS6. The 2021 Apache RTR 4V160 has got only one update and that is the engine because now it is generating more than 17.5 PS which makes it the most powerful 160cc motorcycle in India. Other than that it is still available in the three colors that were offered before and I cannot wait for the walk around because we have already done it and the link will be over here so you can go ahead and check it out because today we are going to ride this motorcycle and see how it performs. So before you go on a ride, don't forget to wear your helmet and follow all road safety rules. The riding ergonomics are still the same from the BS6 version. And as we all know, with a single step of seat, the comfort is good on the Apache RTR 164V. You get slightly rear set foot pegs, wide handlebar providing good leverage in the city. The seating is straight with slight sportiness making it comfortable for daily use. So the engine has been updated. TVS has tweaked it so that now it produces 17.63 PS of power and the torque is still the same at 14.73 Newton meters. But the biggest question is, is it noticeable when you ride the motorcycle? Well, technically yes when you ride it aggressively because then you are doing end-to-end -end on each gear and hence the pickup feels slightly better. The main power difference is felt in the mid-range going to the top. The bike progresses with ease and doesn't exhaust out at the top but as I said the more power is only felt when revving it hard else it is still the same. The motor is even more refined and slight vibrations can be felt at the top. In the process of adding some more power TVS has reduced the weight which is good news because already the motorcycle was light and now it is even lighter giving even better power to weight ratio. Definitely this one is more powerful and lighter than the NS160 making it the most value for money motorcycle in this segment and it can still deliver the same fuel efficiency of 48 kmpl so it is a win-win situation. The gearbox is still the same, 5-speed manual which is good enough for this motorcycle. The gears have a clicky feel while shifting which is expected from a TVS. The clutch is very light in operation which is for the best because it helps reduce the fatigue in the cities as well as on the highways. The brakes also offer good bite. Surely the rear one has a scope of improvement because it feels kind of spongy and also lacks feedback. The front one is good in terms of bite as well as feedback and with the ABS the performance is even better. The ABS doesn't intrude and works efficiently. The main difference between NS160 and the RTR 160 is in terms of suspension because the setup on RTR is slightly on a softer side which definitely helps in improving the ride quality but slightly compromises on the sporty characteristics. The bike is very stable at high speed and in the corners but doesn't give that confidence to bring down your knee which I feel is fine because the best part is the motorcycle absorbs the bump really well. Although at high speeds the sharp ones can still travel to you but in the cities the ride is very smooth. I like the zeal with which TVS is progressing and they are doing some really good updates in the right direction. I am really happy to see that 
because I don't believe that if you change the paint scheme, it's really an update. So go go TVS and this bike is good. In fact, it is the most powerful bike in the 160cc segment. Our ride with the 2021 Apache RTR 4V160 has come to an end. Remind me, I don't have to say the whole name again. This bike is very good. It is definitely now more powerful. So now you can get the RTR 164V starting from 1.11 lakhs X showroom daily for the drum variant and for the disc variant, you just have to pay 3000 rupees more going to 1.14 lakhs X showroom daily. I hope this video was helpful for you. Do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. So you are never missing any update from Rev Explorers. Go ahead and share this video with your family and friends. And if you have any doubts or any queries, you can leave it in the comment section below or directly get in touch with us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The handles will be right over here. We'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, stay home, stay safe and ride safe. Bye bye.